Current and former Corbin Community School parents are speaking out tonight. This after the founder and executive director was fired for allegedly embezzling $50,000. Queen City News reporter Cindy Heiberger has been following this story and went to a school board meeting there tonight to get reaction. Corvian school board members discussed how they plan to move forward after the firing of their former executive director for alleged misuse of funds. They said they have hired new firms for forensic accounting, bookkeeping and auditing. But most parents at Tuesday's meeting said they can't move forward until they can trust the board again. It's been two years since Allison Ford sent a freedom of information request to former Corvian Community School Director Stacy Haskell. She asked for curriculum information and for the school's balance sheet, grant information, and federal pandemic loan expenditures. I got the budget, but I never got the actuals and the balance sheets. Ford didn't press the issue further at the time, but now she says she wishes she had. School board members fired Haskell on November 29th for what they called a misuse of funds. A police report shows the school reported $50,000 of embezzled funds from the unauthorized purchases of a hotel room, helicopter ride, and clothes. I just have no patience for people who take money at the expense of children. On Tuesday, parents gathered at the school and asked some board members to resign, citing a lack of trust in their leadership. For it to be going on for three years when they complete audits and the board has to approve a budget and how money is spent, so why did it take three years to find it? They have the chance right now to do it right or do it wrong. But among their impassioned pleas, they're holding out hope that the school can bounce back from its issues going forward. I will give credit where credit's due. Stacy did a great job getting the funding initially and getting it up and running and getting them in, you know, brick and mortar. But I, they have a lot of, a lot of things to correct and a long way to go. We did reach out to Stacy Haskell's attorney and did not get a response. I'm reporting at Corvian Community School, Sydney Heiberger, Queen City News.